Have you ever read a book and just couldn't get the solution of the mystery even though the book already laid out the solution? Well, this book might make you feel that way, but read it a couple of times because it is one of the greatest mysteries that I've ever read. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this awesome book and probably one of the greatest mysteries that I've ever read, and it is highly recommended to you guys. The West Ting Game, winner of the Newbery Medal. It's by Alan, Alan Raskin, and it is one of the puff, puffin modern classics. Doesn't matter. It is possibly one of the greatest books that I ever read. Um, it was a uh, fifth grade read aloud, and I really enjoyed it then, and it's actually different if you actually read the book other than a read aloud. So, I really enjoyed it, and I think you guys would probably enjoy it too. So, well, let's get right on to it. The Westing Game Samuel W. Westing was an eccentric millionaire, owner of a chairman of a company, had piles of money, and he loved playing games. Not like video games or anything like that, more like poker games or chess. He was a master at chess. But he never gambled, he never drank, and he never, never did anything that was bad for his body or bad for the mind. Samuel W. Westing. He is awesome. But he died. Or did he? He said in his eccentric will calls for people. And as it says here, 16 people. 16 people. People who don't know each other at all has been called to the Westing house. And Samuel W. Westing claims that he has not died of natural causes. He says that he has been murdered, and the murderer is one of the heirs. Oh my god, that's a creepy mystery, don't you think? And the game that Samuel W. Westing plays. We don't know what his name is. We don't even know for sure if he's dead or if he was murdered. And it's very confusing. It tells of the 16 people who has been called to Sunset Towers. Sunset Towers isn't a tower really, but it's a nice apartment building facing a lake. And in one day, a man named Barney Northrop, well, sold all the rooms in the, in the apartment building sold it to 16 people. 16 people that were already in, names already engraved in the nail mailboxes. Oh no, he didn't expect them to refuse this offer. He only, he got these people because, well, he knew he could get those people. And then one day, he was an excellent salesman. He sold the houses to the people who, who he wanted to be in the same place. And by some chance, the 16 heirs were all, were all living in the same building. And they all have recently moved. But it's very weird, isn't it? It's very strange that all of Samuel W. Westing's 16 heirs have gathered, moved, just not even a week before the Samuel W. Westing was reported dead. Very weird. And now these heirs have to play the Westing game. Very smart heirs, heirs actually. Turtle. Turtle, who is nicknamed Turtle for she kind of looks like a turtle, and she's a very smart girl. Angela, who looks like an angel, but is uh, kind of like a bomber, and she is kind of 
she has some interest in medical things and she's 20 and she's already well ready to be married and she kind of wants to go to college but she tries to follow everything her mother says who which brings us to grace wexler and the wexlers are one family and there are a couple others couple others and these are the heirs they are somehow related to samuel w westing and we have to find out who is the murderer and I think this is a brilliant mystery, and the solution to it is that Samuel W. Westing is not dead. You see, the doorman Sandy McSellers, and, and the salesman Barney Northrup, and Samuel W. Westing is the same person. And Samuel W. Westing, our good old guy, the eccentric millionaire plays one last game and he really isn't dead not of course not did he wants his heirs heir and of course turtle becomes the heir she she goes through the mystery and she finds out that samuel w westing barney northrup and sandy mcsuthers is the same person and the will said, the final sentence of the will said, find the fourth. Who is the fourth? The fourth identity of our dear Samuel W. Westing. And it's simple if you think about it. Barney Northrup, Sandy McSuthers, South, and our dear, the eccentric millionaire himself, Samuel W. Westing. That goes for north, south, and west, and there's only one direction left, east. And the, the president of the, uh, the company that Westing is the chairman of happens to have a man for, for a president named Eastman. Julian Eastman. And when our dear turtle goes to meet Eastman, he kno she knows. She knows that he is Sandy. He is Samuel. He is Barney. He is Max Southers, Westing, Northrop, and finally Eastman. He is the man of many identities. He has changed his face. He could change his teeth, and he was a brilliant eccentric millionaire. Of course, now he has gone away because he's dead. And at the end of the book, a new eccentric millionaire, who is now named T.R. Wexler, or as we knew her, Turtle Wexler, challenges her niece into a game of chess. And it was, after all, all that mattered for our dear Samuel W. Westing was the master of chess. And he, the Westing game, was kind of like chess. You have to think about it. And she had played the same trick that he had played to many others while they were playing chess. The queen sacrifice. And to know what that means, you have to read the actual book. It was an absolutely epic mystery, and once you know the solution, it makes so much sense, yet you could never have figured it out when you first read the book. So, you have to, maybe you have to read it a couple of times, but it's a great book, a must-read, one of the greatest mysteries ever. And like always, your bookwester and the bookwester, the Westing game a must-read. One murder, not a murder, and one fake, several fake identities.